Hey guys, welcome to IBK, where we talk about cars and tech. Today, we're going to be talking about the Herman Miller Aeron headrest. So, as you guys know, Herman Miller Aeron, these are very, very popular chairs. And they're known for their renowned comfort, and they last a long time. Like, these chairs will last you, I think, 10, 20 years. So, very, very good quality. But despite all this... This chair does not come with a headrest. So I know a lot of people are on the fence whether we need a headrest or not. And Herman Miller obviously doesn't think we need a headrest for this chair. So they never created one. So you can't even buy one from Herman Miller itself. But thankfully, Herman Miller has this backing on the chair. I don't know if you can see. There it is. And this Herman Miller backing right here allows third-party uh, companies to actually create a headrest that attaches to it. So that is what I did. I was looking and searching for a headrest. You know, despite not using one for a while, I figured, you know what? It makes it so much more comfortable if I could just lean my head against this chair especially when I when I lean back and the chair reclines back. So that's why I decided to get one. Um, this one is by Engineer Now. I'll have the link in the description. And it's pretty solid. It's uh, It's been on this chair for a month now and it doesn't move. So it's hard to kind of move everything because I've kind of tightened all the screws so that it doesn't move. So once you do that, it stays in place. And no matter how head how heavy your head is, it shouldn't move or budge. And that makes it feel very secure, makes it very comfortable. And uh, you can oscillate this up and down a little bit right here, like this. So depending on whatever you feel comfortable with, you can go ahead and oscillate this. But I tend to find this setting pretty comfortable. So if you have this chair and you're on the fence whether you need this headrest, I'll say it like this. If you're on this chair for more than five hours, and especially with work from home these days, I think a lot of people are spending a bunch of time with these chairs in their office. I'd say go for it. I think it's worth the investment. These things are not too expensive, especially compared to the chair. Now, some might scoff at it just because it is the price of some chairs. So you might think that you don't need it. But hey, if you're already plunking down massive cash for this Harman Miller chair, might as well go get the headrest. Now, bear in mind that this is the older Harman Miller classic design. This is not the new one. And the new one, I do not know if it fits this particular headrest. I know there are other third parties that manufacture it. So you might want to uh, pay close attention when you buy it. Make sure that it fits your chair. And there's sizes on these and you have to measure your height. Uh, you have to measure uh, what kind of chair Herman Miller you have. There's A, B, and C. So make sure you get all those things, all those information correctly so that you buy the correct headrest. So there you go. I personally really enjoy this headrest. I think it's a gem. Uh, it's very stable and I see that I'm going to be using it for a long time. The mesh here is very similar to the mesh here. I don't know if it's exactly the same, but definitely hasn't really concaved much even after using it for a while. So this is going to be supportive for a long time and it does go, it does go in. So whatever your head does, it will push it in. So it just adds to the comfort. All right. So there you have it. If you have this chair, go for it. If you don't have this chair, watch my next review on why you should maybe get this chair. Um, and we'll talk about the pros and cons of this chair. All right. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Always, always, if you have questions, leave them in the comments below. And I'll be sure to address them. All right. Stay safe.